okay boss <coughs> so i got three attributes here but i see my first name or gender is pretty much fixed they don't really change but when it comes to country code can my customer today might belong to one country and tomorrow uh, it keeps changing across right so i would like to make that as time dependent boss now look at the check box here what is this and if you enable the check box that becomes time dependent boss and activate uh, what is the naming of your attribute type p right p is actually only mass data time independent will be in p and all your time dependents will be in q table and with two extra columns one is date to and date from for this customer from this date to this date this is the country from this date to this date this is the country and atla pettukuntunna let me see this here um, if you go to here look at this do you have p table do you have q table p will have only first name and gender but doesn't have the country code but if you look at this q table it'll have what is it? date to and date from and what country code and does it so now is your date to is part of primary key since your date to is part of primary key does allow you to maintain in this table for same customer you can have multiple records okay since date is also part of primary key does allow you to maintain multiple records for the same customer with different date intervals boss and let me country code care fine so okay let me maintain the data now idu konde teda untundi screen add line uh, say c100 first name which uh, this is is it time independent record a uh, time dependent add line mm. c100 is it two uh, from date let's say okay this i'll say 01 01 2010 or let me give it as 2014 till till december 2014 mm. let's see he was in us bus okay. add one more line c100 from i'll say from 1st of jan 2015 till 31999 he is in let's say um, india bus so from starting from the year 2015 he is into india bus ore customer let's say like that okay and just save okay boss <coughs> okay now if i go back if i go to mass mass data here p table if i go you'll see normal time independents saying what for cn pratap and mail and yeah, then if you go to what hmm, q table see it says from 2014 till the end of the is us and from 2015 till so and so is in what india uh i have to act, see this all are in, in which version modified still do i need to activate the master data bus before i can use st cast right done so if i go you will see all active version records right so master data so if you maintain time dependent for you have date to and date from for each date interval you can maintain different set of attribute values boss now to see this reflections in the reporting what i want is i'll go to my cube yeah i will change this cube first let me delete data in the cube and let me change this cube i will delete the old customer info object i'll i'll refer to this now new one Z, st cust now so that i can refer this attributes of it kind of customer is the 100 of it at least said about that
so you have two values now so the question is in the reporting when i try to see country code along with the customer number in the reporting which country will it show will it show india or us first got my question yeah in the kind of customer numbers it will not use kunta I'll map this with the S yes customer. I know I maintain market only for CNN, not for others. Let it show me data only for that. That's fine. so i'll get in and uh, let me go to customer and do you see an attribute called country code yeah okay now which country code will it show for me for c100 is what the question yeah good if you remember i left one property in the query properties there is something a key date you remember i touched i said i will touch this later so i'll specify the key date to be let's say what is what is i gave some date in what 2015 Here, characteristic three is not available in for broad. This done. What it saying? Since my key date falls in the second interval, where it my country is in, it comes in India. Suppose I'll change my key date to be. Hmm. I'll try to give some date which falls in the second interval where my country, where it belongs to what? Yes. yes. That is that is time dependent attribute. When you model an infobase time dependent attribute, it does maintain a table called Q slash Q with date to and date from interval. So it does allow you to and since date is part of primary key, for the same customer it does allow you to maintain multiple entries with different date intervals. Yes. And what value comes in the reporting depends on the key date of the query. That's time dependent, right? and next we have something called time dependent navigation what is it here it's combination both it's a time dependent and acting as what navigation attribute that's it now let me set this let me go to st cast yeah it is already time dependent right i want it it's already time dependent and i also want to enable it as navigation attribute text for care and activate Okay, I enable it here. Then where do I enable again? Cube on which you are doing reporting. Is there an ST cast underscore S code? Activate. Let me log it. Put it in over there. good customer you will have normal 
normal time dependent version you will also have what time dependent navigation what will be difference between these two hmm both will show same value as per your key date but only thing is drill down effect if i remove customer this goes but this can still exist in the drill it acts like a carrot stick so time dependent attribute should act like carrot stick then you go with what time dependent navigation attribute this. then there's something called uh, transient uh, sorry compounding very very important hmm. say i'm creating this uh, product z mat underscore plnt look at this case i am trying to create mat plant in forbit with four attributes category price and so on so but what i want is if i just activate this what will be primary key here? same material number so will it allow two records with same material number m1 m1 allow this it will allow but it will go and override them yes or no but again that m1 of plant p1 is different from m1 of plant p2 this so i want my mass weight table where metal and plant together are primary keys what are the attributes have been differing till now they are non key columns but i want an attribute which can act as a primary key in my attribute table so that for example mat plant where the value of plant differs on metal was right so what i'll do i'll create one in alphabet called plant separately say something like care and 3 see what is the tab here compounding start specifying z uh. in all your tables p table text table uh, x table y table every table will get affected with uh, oh sorry i forgot one remind us okay all your table now if you go to p what is the primary key this normal normal attributes play as non key columns but your compounding attribute will act as primary column so when you have superior infobit when the value of one infobit depends on value of other infobit like say mat plant customer sales at one and then you go with what compounding attributes and when you have compounding attribute let's say where whenever i use mat this plant will always follow it now if will it allow you to maintain the mass data for two things p1 m1 p1 m2 and compounding attribute and you have an option here uh, say generally you load mass data from different sources So you're loading from Oracle, flat file, all this. But I, what I want is, I would like to make from flat file also I'm getting C1, from Oracle also I'm getting C1, from ECS also I'm getting C1, from DB Connect also I'm getting C1. What happens if I load like this? They'll go and overwrite. Ultimately, only one C1 is left. But what happens? C1 from flat file is different. C1 from Oracle is different for me. C1 is I would like differentiate that. So what I'll do? I want my mass data locally for each of the source systems. Again, I want customer along with one more column as source system. Then I'm going to do compounding. The checkbox. What is it? Where the automatic source system will be coming as compounding atom. Then your customer and source system together will act as primary key. Then FF C hundred, DB C hundred, EC C hundred, and any differentiate these things. Like this, you can make your mass data locally for source system also. And whenever when you have compounding attributes. in other infobit will follow it and for example when i use this mat in the reporting even these two will automatically come in if i use this in the queue even these two will come into the queue okay boss and all your tables will get affected x table everything gets affected with uh, into primary queue look at this mat plant mat plant will go there okay boss p table x table text load or some more mat uh, so this time plant meet all primary queue. okay one point i forgot yes what is the table used for navigation attribute x table right for time dependent navigation attribute does use y sorry i forgot this again y will have the sid is referring but with the time dependence again so dear 
సేమ్ అట్లా ఏముంటుంది డేట్ టు డేట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఉంటుంది సేమ్ లైక్ ఎక్స్ టైమ్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఎస్ఐడి కాంబినేషన్ రెఫరెన్స్ ఫర్ టైమ్ ఇండిపెండెంట్స్ ఫర్ సైమ్ ఫర్ సేమ్ వే టైమ్ ఇండిపెండెంట్స్ వీల్ హ్యావ్ రెఫరెన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ స్టడీస్ ఫ్రమ్ వైట్ టేబుల్ ఓకే and there is something on transient and, and let me just cross check the name i forgot but transitive attribute uh, transient because there is a new provider called transient so transitive attribute bus i have never worked on this but this is not big concept second level of navigation attribute is called as transitive attribute for example look at this say for example uh, you go to customer you have a navigation attribute what is this here country code and if this has one more uh, let me and if this has got one more attribute let's say country manager you have a navigation attribute and that that navigation attribute has got one more navigation attribute to it we call it as transitive attribute <coughs> we call it as second level of navigation attribute i have never used it but there is a concept like this saying transitive attribute which says you have a navigation attribute and this navigation attribute has got one more navigation attribute to it we call that as transitive attribute bus. second level of navigation attribute bus. that's it. that's about types of attributes and one second నోట్స్ ఇక్కడ ఉంది ఐ కెన్ టేక్ దిస్ నోట్స్ 